Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Bayou Time Sports. I'm Martin Foss. Let's go straight to the LSU report on the first game. Now, if you're watching this after Monday at 6 p.m., you know that it's a little dated, but things travel fast in Omaha, but we want to give credit where credit is deserved, especially with a local guy on the LSU Tiger baseball team. So if you watch the game against Tennessee, thrilling game, LSU right-hander Paul Skeens fired 7.2 innings with 12 strikeouts Saturday night, and right fielder Braden Jobert collected three hits and two RBI to lift the Tigers to a 6-3 victory over Tennessee at the Men's College World Series Saturday night at Charles Schwab Field. And with that win, LSU improved to 49-15 and 15 on the season, and the Volunteers dropped to 43-21. We hope 50's in the sights for LSU by the time you see this. But the coach, Jay Johnson, said a great night tonight, unbelievable crowd. He went on to quote, I think two things really stand out. Our team was locked in from the first pitch, we talked a lot about just focusing on execution, and they did that really, really well. He also said, this time of year, you win these games against these elite teams when great players play great. And that was certainly the case when Paul from the mound tonight, Braden and Gavin Duga from the batter's box. He went on to say, I thought it was a solid game. We played solid baseball, and our guys were guys. That's what it takes to win games here. Now, Skeens, who is 13-2, earned the victory after working 7.2 innings and recording 12 strikeouts. He finished the outing allowing two runs on five hits with only one walk issued. LSU left-hander Riley Cooper entered the game in the eighth, taking over for Skeens and earned his first save of the season after firing 1.1 scoreless innings with two strikeouts. Talking about Skeens, he has 200 strikeouts on the season, and he became the second LSU pitcher to reach that mark right behind program legend Ben McDonald, who tossed an SEC record 202 strikeouts in 1989. So LSU got the scoring started on the strength of second baseman Gavin Duga, right here from Homa, Louisiana, his 16th homer of the season, a solo shot in the second inning. He got all of it. The Tigers added to their total in the bottom of the third on an RBI ground out from first baseman Trey Morgan and led 2-0 after three innings. The Tigers struck for two more runs in the bottom of the sixth, inning to extend the lead to 4-0. Catcher Hayden Travinsky began the frame with a walk and advanced to second on a wild pitch. Jobert delivered an RBI triple on a ball he smashed the right center field wall. With Jobert on third, shortstop Jordan Thompson singled through the left side to bring in Jobert. And in the bottom of the seventh, center fielder Dylan Cruz led off with a double, and third baseman Tommy White followed with a single to left field. Morgan produced a quality at bat with less than two outs and lifted a sack fly to center giving LSU a 5-0 advantage. With his leadoff double, Cruz collected his 100th hit of the season, becoming the first LSU player since Alex Bregman in 2013 to reach that mark in a single season. Tennessee played it three runs in the eighth on an RBI single by shortstop Mai Ahuna and center fielder Hunter Inslee's two-run home, narrowing the gap to 5-3. Jobert patted the LSU lead in the bottom of the eighth with a solo shot to right field, his 12th homer of the season. Let's hear from our hometown hero, Gavin Duga, right here from Homa, and he made comments after the game. Let's listen in. How would you assess what, what, what you guys were able to do out there tonight? Gavin, you start, please. 
Uh, absolutely, no. We uh, we had a plan, and I, th- I think we really stuck to it. Um, we had a lot of balls hard at people in the beginning, um, so it, it kind of showed you how we, we came out. Um, but at the end of the day, we, we had a plan, and I think we did a really good job of, of doing that as well as adjusting to the pitchers that came into the game. Uh, so we were just really locked in as a team. Been success early. How much did that help you, Gavin? And- I've been waiting a long couple of days uh, since we've been at the hotel. I know everybody else has. Uh, but it, it was awesome just to see the environment and take it all in in that first pitch of the game. Um, it's everything you could expect and more. I mean, Coach told us whenever we um, won the Super Regional that it's going to be everything you expect times four, uh, and he was right about it, and I'd say times ten. Um, but I'm, it was awesome just to enjoy that first game, and we're ready for the next one. Gavin, can you kind of talk us through that at bat with the home run, what you're looking for and, and what you saw? Uh, just obviously, like Braden said, just trying to get something up. Um, our, our game plan was to get – balls up with the guy. I mean, he had a lot of sneak, a lot of run. Um, so the only way to be successful was to see him over the plate. And fortunately, I was able to spit on two balls and then see one ball up. Uh, so I, I was lucky enough to put a good swing on a good ball and uh, put the Tigers out in front right there. Your first time playing in front of 20,000 fans in Omaha. How do you guys handle the nerves? We play 56 games in the regular season, and we play 56 playoff games in our mind. Uh, so every every game that we play is a playoff game. No matter what we do, no matter how we prepare, we're preparing to win a playoff game. And that's something that I think that has made us very successful in those moments and what's going to continue to help us move forward. Let's hear from Coach Johnson about the big win in Omaha. Great uh, night tonight. Uh, unbelievable crowd. I think two things really stand out. Uh, the team, our team, was locked in from the first pitch. Uh, we talked a lot about just focusing on execution, and uh, they did that really, really well. And this time of year, you win these games against these elite teams when um, great players play great. And that was certainly the case with Paul from the mound tonight, Braden, Gavin from the batter's box. We'll have a lot more of Bayou Time Sports. Stick around as we continue to cover the Tigers.